being the original people that, you know, cared for this land and lived on this land and used this land and being the original Americans, you would think that people all around that do live on this land now, you would think that they would know more about us, about our history, about where we come from, about the peop kind of people we are. My family and I are Navajo from the Dine Nation, Dine Tribe. We are people from the Four Corners area, uh, from Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah. We're the largest Native American tribe in the United States. We really are connected with each other. We, we are family-based people. <laughs> <laughs> What's important to us as Native Americans is always, always remembering where you come from, your traditions, your ways, remembering your family. That's the glue that holds us together. That's what keeps us going. That's what we all want. That's what our elders want. <laughs> Native American church is a big deal in my family. It's the way my grandpa has brought up all my uncles and my dad. It's kind of the way we talk to God. When we've set up the teepee, there's, it's always for a good reason, to, you know, to pray. And so I said, we're going to take this advantage, you know, advantage of, uh, of this time, of this opportunity to say and pray for Keyshawn. Over the course of the years, a lot of prayers, a lot of songs, a lot of uh, emotion, feelings have been displayed. The TV is my grandpa's teaching of things. So, I mean, that's how my dad was brought up with all his brothers. You go in there and you focus on what you want in your life, whether it's with your family, whether it's whatever you seek to desire in your life that you ask God to help you with. You look into the fire and it tells you things. There's a whole lot of strength and a strong feeling that we're connected with it. What makes Kishan who he is, where, where at this point in his life he is, where he's at, at the level that he is at in the uh, professional bull riding circuit, at that level, uh, here going into the professional bull riding finals here in a few weeks, it's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to you, son, to make things happen for yourself. Understanding your identity and knowing where you come from, who you are, and with your family behind you. They go over there to win Jehotaka, the place first. Jehotaka, to be a world's champion bull rider. Jehotaka, that's their dream. There's the bell I was looking for. It's my dad's old bell. Used to have this on the, underneath the bear, underneath the barrel, right there. At an early age, Keyshawn knew what he wanted to do. I used to get after him, you know, because I want him to be the best, the best he can. He would buck it as hard as he could, and I would have to stay on. A little Chris Shivers-esque from Keyshawn Whitehorse. I'm very proud of him, how he took me as a coach. 87 and a half, and Whitehorse moves to the number one spot in the event. The Navajo people, the Native American people, they're so proud of him. They're so, you know, they like to see him more. They like for him to excel. Native Americans, we have a lot of pride uh, because it starts internally. It starts from where we're from. As Navajos or Diné people or Native Americans in general, we're strong, we're able to do great things, and this is our way of life. And you don't have to lose your way of life to become something great in this world.